don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He's just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. <laughs> of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. Said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words. I won't forget this. Oh, boy. Don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. Take this horse to either Adonis or to the stable boy. You need to choose. Come on, come on. I thought Adonis could make good use of this horse. Will you make sure it gets to him? This horse? So long as it doesn't trouble me, I'll take it to him on your behalf. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. Everything's taken care of. Hmm. I'll have one of my generals check up with my stable boy. I hope the creature didn't scare him too much. Not at all. Rest assured. Better pay that stable boy a visit to cover my tracks. You must be the jockey of Artemision. Nice horses. I keep them clean and pretty. Just like Elysium. I tended horses in my old life, too. Then you're just the boy I need to talk to. I have a favor to ask. What favor? If Persephone or any of her people ask, I need you to tell them that I brought a big, scary horse to you. A scary horse? We don't have those here. Then you'll have to pretend. There's Drachmi for you if you do. You're silly. We don't need Drachmi in Elysium. You're sure you're from around here? Of course, I do that. No matter what, you need to do what I say. Why do you want me to lie? Because if you don't, I'll make sure all of your horses get out of their pens and run away to Tartarus. Understand? Tell them I was here. Fine. Just leave my horses alone. Ah! You again! Always nice to see a friendly face. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. <laughs> I told you, you can call me Alexios. In front of the staff? Pa. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. 
Oh, give yourself time. The golden fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively. But I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys to lock those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them. Ah, you're as wise as Pythagoras. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. <laughs> Imagine all the heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful only then to set eyes on Persephone. Come on. Look there, kid. <laughs> that encampment is the site where Iphastos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. <laughs> That cave leads to a key I built for the staff. Consider it our secret. The keymaker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? So this twisting ribbon defines each of us. And what happened in there changed what defines me. You understand? With these keys, you can unlock the secrets inside you, and wrest control from them. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Barnabas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine, and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready, the humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. <laughs>